Oh, welcome to the high 20. Or near it, anyways. Unfortunately, I don't get to drive on it because there's no off ramp where I'll be turning off on. So I would just be getting on and then work well. So I have to just stay on the service road, which is annoying and cool at the same time. And it's annoying because I really like uh oh. There's an international. What is the international one? Probably to come and pick up a load at the same place where I was. I have to say that international actually looked pretty cool. Not a huge fan of internationals in case anybody hasn't noticed already. So yeah. And it's not so great because I like, oh no, we just passed overhead on the bridge. That uh, window blade that is. But, uh... Wow, there's a bunch of them today. Interesting. Escort van. Those Kenworth T800Ws, the ones with the wide hood that you see there, they're quite widely used in the heavy haul. I guess because they got such a big grill. But they still got a setback axle for it to turn tight. And the big grills that have a big radiator cool off the big motor it takes to pull those big loads. Sounds pretty big to me. Yeah, I would like to be able to drive on the interstate, but yeah, I guess it's pretty cool too because, you know, I'm guessing, I'm just guessing, the speed limit on this service road is 55 miles an hour. That's the speed I always do. But there is not one speed limit sign that I go by in either direction, which is really annoying. But I guess it's okay, but... So then the company trucks that are limited at like 62 miles an hour just kind of slowly creep by on the highway. That's pretty cool. If I knew the speed limit, which... I don't know. If it had a really ridiculously high speed limit, like 75 miles an hour on the service road, which I'm sure it wouldn't. And really this road is a little bit too small and weird for that kind of speed. But it'd be pretty cool because you could kind of pull up beside a big company truck, go on 62, and you just hammer down and kind of pass the guy on the service road, he's on the main highway. I think that'd be pretty hilarious. Ooh, that guy had a red car. Nice. But yeah, it finally dried out pretty well as far as the uh, mud, so I can call instead of, you know, play in the mud. kind of reminds me of a story I heard once. It was, uh, I think there was a Swift truck. And if you're not familiar with that, what Swift is, it's a very large trucking company that does not have the best, you know, safety record or just, re or just uh, reputation in general. Their trucks usually go extra slow and they make up all kinds of abbreviations for Swift. I'm not sure abbreviation is the right thing, but they give each letter a word. Um, some people say it stands for slow wagon and fast traffic, and some other people say it stands for sure wish I finished training. I don't know. I don't have much experience with them, but I do know that there was a story that I was thinking about. All the cars. Uh, there was a Swift truck and another trucker. I guess they were talking on the CB and. Well, the Swift driver says, he says, hey, if you slow down, I will show you something that you have never seen before. Uh, so this other truck driver is interested. So he slows down the Swift truck. He passes it. He pulls back, pulls back over into the slow lane. And then he asks, hey, do you see it? And the other truck says, no, I didn't see it. Okay, so then he, you know, slows down again. And then he gets in the hammer lane again. The Swift driver gets in the fast lane, hammer lane, left lane, whatever you want to call it. And he passes him again, and then he gets back to the slow lane in front of him. And he says, did you see it this time? He says, no, I didn't see anything. Oh, yeah, you did. You, you just got passed by a Swift truck. Then it clicked. Oh, okay. So I guess he did see something that he never saw before, got passed by a Swift truck. I don't know, I don't know what it is with this highway, this stretch of road right here, but the cops really like it. I don't know where, yeah, I think we just passed it, but at one point in the middle, in the median, like in between the two 
the eastbound and westbound part of the 20 here, there's just two local yoke, two police uh, police vehicles just sitting in the median there. One facing one direction, one facing the other direction, where they can just get whoever they want who's rolling by. And they're patrolling and they're catching a, a bunch of people, and that's great. So people know that, hey, you don't speed here. There's plenty of police officers that'll be more than happy to pull you over for doing that kind of stuff. There's also a couple of a couple of uh, DOTs that I saw a couple times just for driving around. I didn't see, yeah, I didn't see him get anybody pulled over. But it's pretty cool to observe the big highway like this, even if you cannot participate. Yeah, as you can see, there's no overpass or anything here, so I can get onto this road. Got their cotton harvested here for the most part. This road, it kind of looks like a really junky, really old paved road, but it, it, it doesn't seem to be. It looks like it's a Galicia road, which is strange. Yeah, it's very dusty. As you can see, there's plenty of water still sitting around. I have to say, right here off to the right, that'd be a great place to go fishing. If there would actually be water there consistently, and if it's not just flooding, which it might be. Uh, so that part found himself for breakfast. Yeah, this road is very dusty. I can't see behind me. <laughs> well, at least on one side. Left side, I can still see. I guess the wind is kind of blowing a little bit towards the towards the east. This should start looking familiar. I hope it will. Yeah, more cotton right beside the road. Yeah, way off to the right, there is, in fact, like, the, most of the field is, like, flooded, flooded. This is just a high part where it's gone. Here is the sketchy crossing from my ske sketchy crossing video. <laughs> there, there are no trains coming. That one looks, seems to have just passed. No, actually, he's been sitting there for a while, though. Nobody coming. Nobody's gonna run me over. Perfect. Seem to fix the crossing a little bit. Just put some new boards over here. There's still there, itty bitty little road. Big ditch. I'll let you go here. Until next time, have a good one.